Dear students, today we will discuss few new medicals on Pelton wheel. So let's start. So we consider one new medical from Pelton wheel. A Pelton wheel is receiving water from a pen stock with a gross head of 510 meter. One third of the gross head is lost in a friction in a pen stock. The rate of flow through the nozzle fitted at the end of the pen stock is 2.5 meter cube per second. The angle of deflection of the jet is 165 degree determined power given by the water to the runner and hydraulic efficiency of a Pelton wheel. If CV is equal to 1, that is coefficient of velocity is 1, and KU, that is the speed ratio is 0 0.45. So let's try to solve this problem. For this particular problem, suppose we consider this is the velocity diagram. Here this angle of deflection which is given here 165. Okay. So at first we have to find out the given data. What are the given data here? Here gross head is given. Gross head is 510 meter. In head loss in friction in friction that is HF suppose which is one third of the gross head so this is 510 divided by 3 which is 170 meter now from this you can easily find out the net head which is H is equal to gross head minus the loss due to friction 510170 it will be 340 meter this surge is given this surge this is Q 2.2 meter cube per second an angle of deflection angle of deflection 165 degree so angle phi can we find it out 180 minus 165 so it will be 15 so you see here this is phi this is angle of deflection this is phi and this is also phi right this is okay so that's why 15 degree <coughs> and cv is 1 and ku is 0.45 so you can easily find out velocity of z it is V1, CV, 2GH. So this is 1, 2 into 9.81 into A is 3, 4, 0. So after calculation you are getting 81.67 meter per second. Then velocity of wheel. This is circumferential velocity u that is ku 2g h so it is 0 0.452 into 9.81 into 340 so ultimately you are getting 36.75 meter per second <coughs> So, as you know, Vr1 is equal to V1 minus u. So, you can write 
81.67 minus 36.75 which is equal to 44.92 meter per second and v1 is equal to vw1 so it is equal to 81.67 meter per second so this is from inlet velocity triangle now from outlet velocity triangle <coughs> we will get vr2 is equal to suppose vr1 here because it is not given so let k is equal to 1 here this is blade friction coefficient this is equal to 1 so vr is vr is equal to vr vr2 is equal to vr1 and vr2 cos phi is equal to u2 plus vw2 for u2 you can say you directly write u here or you can write vw2 is equal to vr2 cos phi minus u so it is 44.92 cos 15 minus 36.75 so vw2 is equal to 6.64 meter per second so work done by the z per second is equal to rho q vw1 plus vw2 u which is equal to rho this is water this is thousand q is 2.2 .2, 81.67 plus 6.64 u is 36.75 or oh, ultimately you are getting 7139864 newton meter per second or you can directly write joule per second so power given by the water to the runner is equal to power is equal to you can write seven one three nine eight six four joule per second so it is so it is a watt or you can write one three nine point eight six four kilowatt so this is the power Now you have to find out the hydraulic efficiency. Efficiency. So it will be 2 VW1 plus VW2U divided by V1 square. So if I put the value, you will get the result 2 81.67 plus 6.64 U is 36.75 divided by 81.67 square so it is almost 0.973 or you can say 97.3 percentage so this is the efficiency hydraulic efficiency for this particular problem so let's let's try to solve another problem a Pelton wheel is to be designed for the following specification. 
सो पावर नाइन फाइव सिक्स जीरो किलो वार पावर इज नाइन फाइव सिक्स जीरो किलो वार हेड दिस इज नेट हेड थ्री फिफ्टी मीटर स्पीड दैट इज एन सेवेन फाइव जीरो आर पी एम ओभारल एफिसियसि एट्टी फाइव जेट डायमिटर नट टू वि एक्सिड वन बिक्स ऑफ द हुईल डायमिटर सो दिस इज द कंडिशन आई हेव टू डिटारमाइन हुईल डायमिटर डायमिटर अफ द जेट एंड नम्बर अफ जेट रिक्वायर्ड इफ सी भि इज पॉइंट नाइन एट फाइव एंड के यू दैट इज द स्पीड रेसिओ दिस इज भेलसिटी कविजन स्पीड रेसिओ पॉइंट फोर फाइव सो लेट्स ट्राई टू सल्व दिस प्रब्लेम सो लेट्स कन्सिडार दिस इज द भेलसिटी डायग्राम अफ फर दिस पार्टिकुलार प्रब्लेम सो आफ्टर भेलसिटी डायग्राम उव टू फाइंड आउट द गिभेन डाटास सो गिभेन डाटास आर हियर गिवेन साफ्ट पावर इज गिभेन एक्चुअलि साफ्ट पावर दैट इज पी इज गिभेन नाइन फाइव सिक्स जिरो किलो वाट देन हेड इज गिभेन हेड दिस इज एच इज गिभेन थ्री फाइव जिरो मीटर स्पीड दैट इज एन इज गिभेन सेभेन फाइव जिरो आर and revolution per minute and overall efficiency is 85 percent and ratio of z diameter to the wheel diameter is given so one condition is given this is suppose Let's see. Oh, this is the diameter of the z, and this is the diameter of the wheel. This is one by six. Cv point nine eight five and Ku point four five. Those are the given data. Now, at first, find out. Velocity of the z. So v one, c v, two g h. So this is point nine eight five root over two into nine point eight one into three five zero. After simplification, we are getting one eighty one point six two meter per second. Similarly, velocity of wheel. It is u. It will be k u root over two g h. So k u is point four five root over two nine point eight one. Into three five zero, so it will be three seven uh, three seven point three meter per second. <coughs> Again, your e v is equal to pi d n by sixty. so from this formula you can easily find out what is the value of d here so it is 3 37.3 is equal to pi d we don't know n is 750 divided by 60 so from this your d will be 0.95 meter so diameter of the z diameter of the z is d by d is equal to 1 by 16 so your d will be 
0.95 divided by 6 so it will be 0.158 meter after that you have to find out the discharge discharge of a 1z discharge of a 1z it is very easy to find it out and find out area of the z into velocity of the z so area is pi by 4 small d square into v1 square so if you put the value here so it is pi by 4 0.158 squared into 81.62 so after simplification you will get 1.6 meter cube per second meter cube per second <coughs> then you find out the overall efficiency this is shaft power by water power so this is 9560 this is in kilowatt remember that this is rho g q h So here it is given 85% is efficiency, overall efficiency. So from here you can easily find out the Q. So this is kilowatt. So I can put 1000 here. This is also 1000. 9.81 into Q into 350 so after simplification we will get q is equal to 3.27 meter cube per second so here is small q which is discharge from the 1z is 1.6 meter cube per second and total discharge capital Q is 3.26 meter cube per second then by using these two you can easily find out the numbers of jets it will be total discharge divided by this source of a one z so it is q by small q so 3.27 divided by 1.6 so it is almost 2 z so this is the value i hope you understand the numerical try to solve few problem from the books thank you stay safe